taken off the mainland and This is original, and they would shoot the boats. Okay, we're here at the 40 Mile Point Lighthouse. Uh, we're standing here in front of the pilot house of the calcite uh, took the ship that the captain could signal the engine room okay and uh, she she must have hauled a lot of limestone out of right Roger City then she sure did for all them years <clears throat> the only reason then Bradley went down what 50 1958 58 I was gonna say 57 so the Foghorn building. Uh, this is the old fog. Used for showers and stuff like this. Yes. Our facilities are basically the lighthouse. Look in here. See, there's all the light. and uh, they would take it from four four gallons at a time to the tower. Always had uh, separate privies in the privy for the. Uh, duplex. Oh, okay. Okay, so you had your assistant side and the keeper side, and that one there, I would believe, was the keeper side because of the keeper's privies on this side. Okay. Here, can you give us any more information about your uh, tower and clockworks? Now you, you've heard me talk a couple times about the clockworks and uh, the weight would ru run down the side of the inside of the tower. You can see that there was the tram rail ran to the shore. Gun laying there. Just held the ropes that ran up to the pulleys that pulled the sails. Um, we got uh, brass lights. Uh, I see a uh, end of a log down there. If you look at that log piece down there, you're going to see uh, letters and num uh, uh, artifacts and people that have them. Our staircase was assembled someplace and brought here. We were wondering one day what the uh, Roman numerals had. Well, I was 
Anyway, about 180 years ago, a Frenchman by the name of Franz hand polished crystal prisms that capture 85% of the source of light by every two to four hours he had to pull that way in order for it to go around. But I say it was the start of step all these. <laughs> okay. Not only that, I don't think we had any fat light housekeepers then. <laughs> anyway, thankfully now we're stationary and we are a working light. It's a rare opportunity to get out to the tower here. You will see a, the shadow of the tower. Uh, okay, we'll all head back down now and uh, um, we'll see the whole side of the ship laying there as we get created by uh, wind. They're also created by... Now this is the whole side of the uh, uh, schooner Joseph. Uh, if you like, you can walk right down that and see what it looks like. the Middle Island um, booth. The Middle Island people have been very, very big supporters of the Great Lakes Lighthouse Fest. Many, many changes and we thank her very much for that. Is there anything you... That's actually how we ended up with the gift shop. Was through my... Pictures and how you've become uh, a, a aerial photographer. 22 degree angle from an ice storm that came in and we actually lifted the privy up. As friends and family, and give me a lot of pieces and I do a lot of painting. I painted all this. I did the painting on that. And I just try to make the sound of music. <laughs> and it makes beautiful yes. music. been part of the Great Lakes Lighthouse Festival for how many years? Oh. I think what brings us to the festival every year is the opportunity to share Taos Point. A few years ago and we got to talking and we found out about a mutual interest in lighthouses. Thank, Thank you. you. Miniature replicas of the lighthouses. Okay. Yeah. And, uh how long have you been in business? And well, and, uh, and then sort of moved on in there and uh, worked with artists. I learned how to sculpt myself. Uh, and um, uh, so I've always been involved in some sort of side of the, uh, the artistic business. Basically, uh, these sort of uh, scaffolding skeleton towers with uh, metal legs and cross struts and what have you. Uh, and uh, we have several of them in the line right now. And making those is really complicated because there's probably as many as 50, 60 pieces. That's a lot of work in, in them. But, uh, you know, the more work... And it's a great pleasure to be able to come and, and, and talk to collectors and meet collectors, uh, 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 get to know them. I mean, our collectors are sort of basically an extension of the family, really, because, you know, we've known them over many, many years. We see their kids growing up and uh, a mariner a lot of uh, skill and a lot of bravery to risk his ship and his crew and his cargo to sail to a lot of the places around the United States because it was dangerous. Do I believe the minute that funding is necessary, I do. I really think it is very, very important. I think it's more important than a lot of the uh, restoration projects that are...